Hi there, my name's Lo Nico, and I'm a human bard. It's nice to meet you. I play the shamisen, but I can also play the shinobu flute and taiko drums. As long as my music can make people smile and forget their worries for a while, that's all I ask. My name means Little Seer with stars in her eyes, and it was given to me because I was born with a connection to spirits. Fire spirits, especially. I haven't awoken that power yet, but that's why I'm travelling with my friend Lucera. She's like a big sister to me. Oh, and I'm 14 years old. I'm excited to meet you on the road ahead. Hello everyone, my name is Paimera. I am a tabaxi and a librarian, and I guess kind of an amateur archaeologist as well. I enjoy learning about all of the things that Trileo has to offer us. That's how I found my new friends. I enjoy learning about the world, and they have so much to teach me. Now, my ultimate goal is to find a book that I have been missing for a long time. And if you see it, please let me know, because I need it to finish my collection. I hope that I have more adventures with these great friends, and I will see you all on the road. Goodbye! Hello there. Let me introduce myself. I'm Lacerra Show, and I'm a pardon in training at the Kyokai Temple. My duty is to protect Lo Nico and accompany her on her travels. We're going on a road trip. I can't wait. This is gonna be so fun. I'm so excited. <coughs> I mean, I am eager to go on this road trip. This shall be a fortunate learning experience. Yes. I'll be sharing this experience with you. This My name is Rocky. I come from Ronslau. I grew up there after my parents and I were banished because of who I am. I come back now to, well, save my family's name and train. My first memories of silence and being alone in a cold room. I was forged for one purpose to document the plant life unique to Sherry Leo. So, my exchange for work abroad was settled and a family owning a flower shop soon hosted me. As part of the research done in their gardens, we worked on domestically growing, magical gem producing wildflowers. After some time, we made a very promising preliminary success until everything was lost. That fateful night, our home and gardens were raided. I, I still remember how the earth shattered, as did my heart. having taken root inside of me grew to give me the strength to move once again. While I'm unsure about my purpose and to whom I owe my existence, one thing I know is that there is hope even in a fragmented self. Whenever I close my eyes, I can always hear the shuffle of the plants and the flowers that continue to sustain me. And I know that I'll never be alone again. Truly, there's something magical about life.
<laughs> I'll be speaking. <laughs> Hi, welcome to uh, session four of uh, Throne Hop Sands. Uh, Sophie's just gone out for a second, so I'm uh, I'm gonna just do a little catch up. In that last session, there was a little scene with Pymera have it awakening. Now it's left for the minute. Every time. <laughs> Is it really a casual, is it really a front of sand stream if uh, we don't fuck up at the start though? Is it? <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's just kind of our thing now. It's fine, it's fine. It's, it's gonna get really hard like milking it later on, like making making new new problems. Okay, we did do <laughs> This one had two, I mean, so maybe you know us, like True. Um <laughs> No. We don't we, know. Yeah, last session, um Pimera released her druidic spirit. Uh, which is yeah. a phoenix called queen, um, but uh, I want to go just rewind a bit on that scene because such uh, buddy. Yeah, I wanna I wanna do a thing. Um, <laughs> what else happened last session? I can't remember. You you, <laughs> <laughs> you fought a bunch of shit <laughs> That's what happened. You, you, you fought a bunch of Shabat and you fought a four armed Shabat and, and then you wanted to fight a child. I thought I was gonna <laughs> die in Losara mode. Well, it's okay. You survived. We learned the whale spell. Mm. Yeah. And they did Not the really, yeah. <laughs> By the, the sassy child. Mm. Yeah. By little Kiko. <laughs> And then Lo-Fi just not liking her existence. <laughs> I was not having it. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, today my internet connection is being really buggy. I don't, I don't know what's happening. It's been like that for like a week now. But like I didn't want to, I didn't want to push the session back another week because we've been waiting a lot for this. Because uh -huh. <laughs> it's, it's, it's felt like a month. It's, it's, it's been time. Um, are you guys ready? Yeah. Yep. Also, if any if anyone's quiet on uh, the stream, please let me know, and I'll turn them off. I think everything should be fine, but who knows? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop you over here. We're gonna go up to right. the section, which is over here. If my scroll wheel wants to do that, it's control. <laughs> now my mouse, my mouse doesn't want to work apparently. Fun. Just give me a second, and I'm just gonna put you guys over here. Hmm. Oh, this is really cute, baby. <laughs> it's a small little fire next to me. Yeah. Oh yeah, I changed. Uh, I changed lots of fire. Um, I'm gonna... It's so pretty. Mm. I force skip. Do this. To do that, and then, so um, Pymer, you you perform your little ritual. I believe. How, could you describe your ritual to us again? If you're there. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I did not. I it's didn't okay. use it. <laughs> it's okay. No, my internet's been awful, so it's it's perfectly fine. Um, could you describe your little ritual for me? Oh, fuck, I don't remember what I said. <laughs> It's okay, you can redo uh, it. You can redo it if you'd like. Okay, so... I remember like, you, like, uh, you tried... So basically, it. she is like, okay, we need to uh, melt this down, and I can set it on fire. Like, it's easy enough that we can make that happen. So she kind of, like, takes a deep breath and, like, centers herself. Mm -hmm. And, like... We can do this. We practice for this. This is what we have been waiting for. We are fully bonded with the beautiful little baby bird and it will be fine. We can do this. It's going to be fine. And so she calls upon this fiery spirit that she's been in close contact with for a while now. It When she picked her, her spirit specific type of druid life that she wanted. She uh, met along the way this spirit who is now 
basically connected to her and she knows that it can manifest and she knows that it can do beautiful wonderful things and she feels safe and like in control around her new friends so she is going to try to bring that spirit forth and have it manifest as queen mm -hmm. and was this through like a dance was this through Anything? yeah so like basically she's seen queen in her head um and she's spoken to her for a while now and in her mind she just full huge fiery glowing phoenix and that's how she imagined queen's energy and she just sort of pulls her hands down in front of her and she centers herself and she says okay we can do this we are going to make the beautiful girl she's going to arrive into the world and we're gonna everyone's going to be impressed okay so, and she kind of puts her hands above her head and like waves them around and she's like okay here we go and she like moves her hands in front of her as if pushing something away from inside herself mm -hmm. and queen just erupts from like her chest hmm. so yeah uh you everyone else sees the room everyone. dim and all the light around the room just dim as well and from erupting through um Pimera's hands you see just this marvelous bit of fire just pour out of her and form into this giant winged fire if that makes sense and like it's just like it consumes the entire room it's huge it's there's like barely any space where you guys like move you guys are just frozen in place as you feel this heat just lick you with its fiery tongues and like it's very unlike the shabatan um flames which were almost cold this is like you feel like you'd pass out from the heat 1080 you wouldn't you've never you can't feel the heat but you can feel your plants almost like wither to it and while like you are feeling that uh, 1080 you can see within the fires um your ch uh your chest you standing there and then your chest uh -huh. erupting as if like it's cracking and, like all your uh, metal chases falling apart and crumbling around you and you explode into a wave of fire bursting into a bunch of plants and then you just turn to ash the seraph we you, what, what? You, you see this in, you, <laughs> put, <laughs> this, you just <laughs> you just see this happening inside your fire uh, inside the fire in front of you uh, coming from queen uh Lucera, you um you see yourself standing a, amongst hundreds of soldiers in the city uh watching <coughs> these soldiers all crumble before you and turning to your left you see time standing next to you and as he walks away as well he crumbles to dust and then you see low to your right uh, in the shadow of the city. And then you just see her burst into fire as well. Rocky, no. you see, yeah, yeah. you can see your parents in front of you in the oh. fire. And like they just turn to dust as a skeletal hand from the sky just reaches down and picks them up and places them into oh. an hourglass. Oh. And then low. You see thousands of small fires converging on one single point, making up a nine-tailed kitsune in the shadows of a snaking river. Can everyone but Pimera roll a deck save? If I am not sure how to roll a rotate. Um, oh, wait, you should sorry. have deck saves on your sheet. I, think I got it. I got it. And if I. Queen. Um, after you see all these little visions, Queen, you see. Um, shrink in size and place herself on uh, Pimera's uh, on her uh, forearm. And I'm gonna read the roll twenty because it's being buggy as hell right now. Ah, death dirty. Okay. I don't trust anything. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, Beth, what is your uh, spell save DC? My spell. Uh, your spell save DC. Oh, oh I was like, what? 
<laughs> yeah, you didn't cast a spell, but like Queen just it's, erupting out of you has caused a little. Wait, do you want mine or do you want hers? Yours. Okay, uh, mine is 15. 15. All right. Everyone, you got low, uh, Rocky and Tenny, you guys with you guys are like able to hold hold your ground and just like wash have the fire wash over you. Lacera, however, you feel this immense heat take you. And Beth, could you roll two d6 for me? No, oh, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, okay. so ain't, ain't too bad. It could be worse. If my PC didn't want to like... Ah, I think I know what's up. Oh, I'll fix it after um, my beer back. Because it should be fine. <coughs> so you don't, like, you don't, like, you... You guys can see Lacera like, just start sweating from the heat. And, like, she's... But you're holding the ground. You're, like, just... You're able to, like... You just wince a bit from, like, the fire. But, like, you're, it's not... It's not the worst pain you've endured. But... Yeah. Yeah, now, uh, Pymer, you have Queen placed on your uh, forearm. Perched there. Looking up. <gasps> we did it! Oh my god, I can't believe we did it! Oh, that was so good, guys! Did she... I finally was able... Mm. She sits... And uh, she kind of sees the look on everyone's face, and she's like, oh my god, did I... Are you okay? Was it too much? Was it too theatrical? I should probably burn it down a notch next time, huh? Ow. <laughs> what do you mean, ow? Ow. <laughs> it's okay, I can handle this. Uh, that was very impressive. Thank you! I really I'm trying, trying to get her to come out forever. I, um, what, was I just ashes right now? I. That was really scary. What do you mean, Ash? You are you were fine. I had uh, this very weird feeling when it came. Um, is is it is it a good thing that you summoned this weird creature? Okay, I don't know if you, weird is a, a nice word. Miss, uh, Tene, Queen looks at you majestically, um, and like pop, it, she puffs up her chest and her flaming feathers on display. You can see each feather has like an eye on it. And she just stares at you with pride and patience. Yeah, I, I mean, that's a little rude. I I didn't, you know. I, I'm weird. sorry. I, I think I think I was just a bit afraid. Afraid of what? Do you want to pet her? She won't hurt you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> she won't. Did she? I mean. I mean, Lonnie wait, Co wait. looks like she really wants to pet her, so 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 let her do, go go ahead, Lo. I guess. What did did she hurt you? Wait, are you hurt? Did we, did we hurt you? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I'm so sorry. Oh oh, who is hurt? I will help you. C come here. I, I'm. Oh my goodness! I'm so sorry. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Uh, I can manage. I shouldn't, I, I I shouldn't have feeling. done that. I'm so sorry. I, I just, I could help. <laughs> Never tried it before. I knew it's I shouldn't right. have done it. Oh, no, don't cry. It's alright, Primera. It's not as bad as that other time I'm next to the temple. That, that hurt, I think, even more. Okay. Who, who, who did who did I did I hurt all of you? What no, who do I, I mean? mean I, 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 mentally, I saw my parents die, and that wasn't pleasant. But otherwise, I am I, okay. You saw what? <laughs> oh my goodness! I mean, um, they may not have died, but they turned to ash. So my assumption is that they died as well. Is were uh, this is going to sound very not nice, but. Uh, are they already dead, or is that are they not? I mean, last like, did time you I see it them, and like relive alive. it, or like, is this like a I new? Saw... Last time I saw them, I, they were, were alive. I don't know if currently they are dead. I...
Sorry about that, my roll 20 is just... Hopefully this has fixed it. Ah, perfect. It was because hardware acceleration was off. It's, mm. perfect. it's fine now. Okay. Perfect. Guys, yeah. are you scrolling through my... character sheet right now? No. Because it keeps moving and I don't like that. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, don't, I have no clue what's going on. That's not me. It's like, it's like scrolling, but I'm not touching the mouse, and I... Roll 20, I guess, maybe, he's been just really buggy today. Roll so 20 just wants to mess up. Yeah, it just wants, like, today is not the, just, just not the day, apparently. Um, but yeah, okay. you've... If you guys would like to continue, sorry. Can I say, like, um, sorry, go on. N no, I, uh, I'm very sorry. Naughty queen, do not hurt our friends. That is... Bad fire spirit. Bad. She just looks at you. Not he's for you. I say so. What was the sorry, Rocky? Uh, oh, I just said not a very queen move if I say so myself. She turns herself <laughs> to you, Rocky. Uh, you see, and you feel her bird. gaze. To be fair, that was the first time, so, you know, I'm not, mm. I'm not making excuses. I'm just explaining. We've never done that before. That was, I mean... It kind of, it was cool, and then it wasn't cool, so, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Her eyes feel like they pierce uh, you when she looks at you, uh, everyone except for Pymera. Can I just say, um, Lissari just, like, her. faces back into reality. She's, like, been phased out for the past, like, couple of minutes. <laughs> just stunned. Go on, sorry. <laughs> you know what? I, I think I will try to pet her. What? Uh, Mm -hmm. Okay, Queen, this is Lo-Fi Boy. We are friends. He's very nice. We do not hurt him. She looks at uh, Lo-Fi Boy through her the side of her eyes. And she just looks I up. Tried, I tried to pet her, like, under the chin. Mm -hmm. She does raise her chin to let you. Uh, she's got a very long... She's like, it's, uh, she looks like a peacock crossed with a, um eagle. And so she's got like all these marvelous feathers. Um, but yeah, she lets you pet her, and then she, you feel that like her feathers are not fiery at all. They they just give off a slight warmth when you when you pet her. That that was decent. Thank yeah. you, Queen. She nods at you. I try to pet her as well, possibly. This is Rocky. He looks like he has rock hands, but he's very nice. <laughs> She looks at Rocky. I pet her under her chin and fail. Mm -hmm. You get the exact same uh, awesome. feeling. Of like warm toasty. Hand. Yeah, toasty. I would like to pet also. Mm -hmm. Lo, when you pet her, you feel your hairs raise and like as if like you've just got like this tingling sensation that's like runs through your hands from the point where you touch, uh, you stroke her all the way through your body and you feel your hair stand up and you get an immense wave of heat but not unpleasant can you understand us queen can we understand yeah, uh, us um she does yes she nods uh oh. can i may i try petting her mm -hmm. yeah oh, queen yeah. actually it's, gets yeah. up and flies to lacero yeah, this is Lacera, this is Queen. Queen Lacera, hello. Hi. <laughs> she places herself. Do you have your hand out? Are you, uh, would you have uh, hand yeah, out? yeah, she has her yeah. hand out. She places herself on your hand. And you feel like this, as if like she was as light as a feather. Um, and she just like stares at you. And um, yes, yeah, she accepts your pets. She reaches her hand out to like let her sniff before um, gently stroking her neck a little bit, like a little neck rub. You feel like uh, she kind of gives you a kiss with her beak instead of smelling your hand. Oh, she likes you! You feel that, like, unpleasantness from earlier, like, wash away now. Good queen, I'll give you all the cookies now. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, Queen, would you like to help us with melting melting this metal? She turns she just... to Chimera. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, fuck yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think the metal's in here, right? In this yeah, there's place. um, there was metal inside there. The mold has no nothing inside it whatsoever. All the metal is yeah. staying within the furnace. Um, so how do you like? Do you want her just to fly in there, Pymera? Like, what what were you hoping for her to do? Yeah, I mean, he understands what they're saying, so we just have to we just have to tell her what we want her to do, and she'll, you know, do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then she just uh, soars effortlessly, and like before she reaches the entrance of the cabin, she pulls in her wings, and then you, as soon as she enters, you just see a rush of fire come through the furnace. And it like looks like it's cracking from the heat on the outside as well. But then like it um eventually stops and dies down. And if you were to look in you'd see that like it's just a pool of molten rock and iron within within the um within the furnace now. How are we gonna pour it in the mold? But could we do it? Yeah, it's, it's all molten all any bit of iron or rock that was still like M melted yeah, but now, molten. Could Queen take it, like carry it back? Like, is it like mm. a bucket or something? Like, there is no buckets around that you could see. It's just a pool on the floor. Yeah, there's a pool with inside the uh, furnace. Mm. How are we supposed to pull that? <laughs> well, okay, oh. so hang on a second before we just start making. Uh, what if that? is what caused the weird holes in the universe thing the pools on the floor no the scissors you can just tell how you think you're going to cut things with scissors and with stabies and i don't see no stabies i mean all right look i think um it's there's something with that primera i don't think i quite agree like we see the marks on the floor as if Another scissor was carried before, right? So it wasn't it's... finished. Well, I, as far as I can tell, it doesn't look as if just one part of it is enough to cut through whatever you're talking about that I don't really understand, but... Because just looking at the marks here, it just look like regular marks to me. We haven't been this way, maybe we'll find something further in. That's also a good point. We should probably have a quick look. I'm well, just saying, if they're scissors, you need two parts of scissors to make big cutty bits. And then what if they just, you know, dab through the reality? I don't know how magic works. Unless <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't pick up my flame. Sorry. Me... Manifested bird out of fire, okay? I don't <laughs> have enough rules. <laughs> I'm wigging it. <laughs> If there's anything we need to do, or you have an idea of something to do about that, we'll do it before we leave for sure, Chimera. Okay. But for now, I mean, I think we said something about destroying the mold. Yes, but we can do that. Maybe we can try on our way out just to make sure there isn't anything else <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> Uh, Lo, in that tunnel that like you're about to enter, you can see that these beams that are, are supporting the tunnel look very weak. And there's like cracks in a few places, and you can just see this one little bit of glitched uh, area of the world weave just on the floor. Can I observe the beams like uh, in tr tr like tr as traps using? Or I think oh yeah, you, yeah, you've got your uh, your trap, your inside traps, um, your dungeon delver part uh, for you. Yeah, you can, uh, if you, I believe you've got a roll, you get an advantage on intelligence or wisdom for those rolls. So if I ask for you to roll for me, I'm just... Investigation, please, with advantage. All of us, or...? Uh, just Pymera. I mean, just, uh, Lucera. If everyone else wants to roll investigation, they'd get, uh, they wouldn't get advantage. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> you, you can roll again, uh, so you get advantage. Oh, right, um... And advantage means you get two rolls. Perfect. Oh, I thought that was, uh, the Sarah's 20. Oh, that's pretty good. Hey! Spread the luck! <laughs> Not 20. Close. 
Um, <laughs> but yeah, allow your badge to just walk forward as you kind of look underneath, ex- directly underneath. Uh, Pimera and Lucero, you both stop low and can see like that there's cracks in the ceiling and they're like any just like bump would cause this uh, this part of the tunnel to collapse. Oh, um, wait, little girl, don't go that way. Um, there's a... It's not safe! <laughs> we stop here, we stop here. Uh... Would it be possible to try and do the, the mending thing on it again? Or... Try it. I believe it takes you a minute to mend, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. How to... Uh, can Lazara do anything to help? Um... Thinking, um, holding up. Yeah, I was gonna you could try and hold it up while uh, Lo actually tries casting mending on it. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> you just um, you're just fumbling about it and like you're almost bump into the uh, the column. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna let you just like stop and like Lo is just gonna try and do it all by herself as you <laughs> you're scared to like step past because you might squish her. <laughs> Very I don't want the stuff to fall on her. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. Uh, but Lo, you were able to like just touch mo- touch up most of the beams, and uh, it takes you about a minute to cast mending, and you can see that the cracks kind of like just like get glued together by your like uh, magic. And uh, after a minute, you are you would be able to like uh, cross past the beam without um, worry of bumping into it and causing it to cave in. Would someone like to go ahead of me? Because I can't see anything. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Oh, oh, wait. Um. Okay, you already did it. Never mind. All right, perfect. So we back. Yeah, the internet's just so excited. It just wants to keep rushing ahead. <laughs> but when it rushes ahead too far, it's. I just I burned it when she came out. <laughs> <laughs> um, Binged. yeah, low. Uh, I mean, Lacero with the wheel spell. You just like are skating over the. Uh, you get that cringe sensation for a second. You kind of like try to jump off it, and then as you bounce, you land into this like stairs, and like instead of like skating down the stairs you do it like a little jump could you describe a little like flippy flip if you'd like because you're gonna completely flip over these bits of rocks over here sophie oh sophie you're muted <laughs> i think uh, she's sorry she's... Uh, <laughs> no it's okay sorry uh did i fall do i fall backwards off these no 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 you, you like kind of like do a little bounce like a hop off like over the world we portion because you feel the uncomfortable feeling for a hot sec and then just like do a flip over the stairs if you want to describe that flip for me so she goes she goes from the thing and she does a bit of a like a kind of like a swirl around it kind of a bit of a like a a Mm -hmm. curve she's a bit nervous but she kind of curves around it like a skateboard in a way but Mm -hmm. skates um and she leans and then she does like a little uh jump um like rather than a skateboard jump she she goes in for a big kind of uh almost like a little skip yeah uh what was that you find that i said what did you just do a kickflip that was (laughs) (laughs) bullshit um as like you do that uh you guys you can't tell that uh lucera is very nervous she's looking she's flawless right now uh but you skip over these rocks and as you skip over those rocks you see one of those hands i mean those mouths that were in the ground try and reach up to uh, bite on you but your just your height and the airtime you have is just is just out of its reach and it just it gets tired of trying to reach for you and it just stomps back into the ground if i do this oh it seems like they're the mouth here. 
I just yeah, missed it. <laughs> There's a mouth in the floor. There's a mouth in the floor. Oh, um, that's not good. Yeah, you can see further in um the rest of the tunnel now. Uh, let's can she just try to poke it, like whack it, whack the mouth at all? <laughs> yeah, you can try and whack, just mouth. whack it. What do you want to whack it with? Uh, I don't want to lose my scythe, but I think she's just going to poke, like, the side of it. Go ahead, yeah. You're going to roll attack uh, on me with your scythe. Ooh. Oh. You... You got to poke at it, but, like, you kind of, like, scratch it and then twist. Like, it almost slips out of your hands for a second. And as it almost slips out, the mat grabs onto the side. Yeah! The session or we could like try and just push through i guess what would you guys like to do oh how's your um connection look like or... apparently like because I've, I've been i have been doing a few tests over the like over the entire day like it's been saying it's fine but it's what it's it's been like the fact like i'm not dcing from uh voice call or anything so i don't know what's just what's up uh, it's yeah, like, it's just having what? trouble with roll twenty. No, no, it's it's OBS. It's not roll twenty or anything. It's um, what I'm gonna do is get, if you could give us a hot second. Sorry about the problems. Wait, I'm just gonna go over here.
hopefully that's that's fix the issue. If it's still if it does it one more time, I think I'm I'm gonna end the stream and then I'll restart the stream because I'm not sure if the um, change the bit rate works midstream or if like it has to be after the stream. We'll find out uh, as it happens. It looks like it's been steady, which is okay. But yeah, um, Primera's done her little kickflip. And, um, I mean, it's not Primera, sorry, but uh, Lacera's done her kickflip. And you guys saw her just like struggling with this uh, floor mouth, if you will. Um, but if you guys want to continue traveling through the dungeon, you can. Or the cave, sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This tunnel seems perfectly fine. There's, there's, there's no beams supporting ceiling. You enter, uh, this area is very much like the entrance. It's like got um, this spinning uh, wheel on the floor that's used to rotate the uh, mine carts as they go down. You can see there's a bridge over here with a bunch of rubble uh, block blocking the end of it. While but on, on your left, you can see there's a world weave hole. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Roll for your deck save, please, and I. Wait, wait, no, I didn't go in it. I went you know, here and then I, I went there. No, you you skip you went you went across there. What do you mean? Like this? Yeah. Okay. Oh. I, I meant to go around, but I didn't do the the movement like this. I really like did not mean to, but I can still roll it I guess. That's on me for being too not careful. Mm. You can actually peer into this bedroom, by the way, well, just as you step over or you kick some rocks in front of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By accident. Mm. Twelve. Sadly, you see this ha mouth. As you kick, kick the rocks, this mouth just forms around your foot. And it, um, it starts chomping on your foot. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm just going to shield bash it first. Go ahead. Um, I, I think that's a strength. Uh... It is a strength, yeah. Yeah, you'd be able to shield bash it. Does it still, like, would it, would it ha is that as a reaction? Do you have to still take damage? or? It's a bonus action. It's not a reaction. Okay, what I'm going to do is, yeah. It's I'll have take to... damage. Yeah, it's going to, yeah. You f this it starts buying on your feet, and you feel like it ruining your, your fine shoes. Dealing three uh, three damage, but you're able to shield bash Dang. and just bonk it into the ground, and it, like the other, um, like the other ones, just turns to cinder and disappears. Yeah, you can see this bridge, and you can hear like rushing water uh, from the stream that's going. It looks, it sounds like it's coming from two places. Like you can, you can just, but you can see, uh... you can see, uh, like you can hear like a waterfall uh, from up here. And you can see it going out south. Um, I don't see anything anymore. Where have you gone? <laughs> I, I, I don't. Oh, I, I think I fell oh, in the void glitch thing. No, 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 no. I, I deleted you by accident. I thought I deleted the oh, rocks. No. I, I deleted you. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, that's not DM me. said no more okay. child, bear, uh, child killing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> a warning. He didn't kill a child, he just was ready to throw hands with one. <laughs> um, ready to throw it into the rock, rather than hmm. stepping out of the rock. While there's the other tunnel, you could see that there was just like this semblance of a bridge, but then like the, the entire like area that like had like little bits of the bridge. Like you, they were just floating in place. Uh, you could see just like a black hole of the world, and like not a black hole, a glitchy like hole in the floor that like had the world weave web. And you can see the water, like water pouring in, and then pouring out of the other end. 